M0 FXB Bofeng Mini UV5R. We have the CPS software here. I'll put a link in the description for you just here. Just click here and it's going to go straight to your, click this one, to your downloads folder at the top there. And then when that's downloaded, click it and you'll get the zip. And double click the zip. More info, run anyway. Yes, I'm going to go next, 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 accept, create a desktop shortcut, and hopefully it'll just open. No, so then we'll just go start and look for it. We'll look for the shortcut. There it is there, Bofen BF5R Mini. Click that, and it's opened. So it's just a UV5R cable get from Amazon. You are going to need to know your comm number once the cable plugs into the twin pins on the radio here. Now just right click your Windows squares here. Right click Device Manager. And then you're going to want your COM port. Scroll down until it says Ports. Double click and it's COM3 on my computer. Back to the software, just click your little radio and then go settings at the top, serial port, and then you want to select COM3. And I've not done this before because I always like to do things with you. And then we're going to go here, it says read. Let's go read. And now oh, it's in Chinese, but we're going to click the Chinese left bit and you can see straight away it's reading. I added some memories in there manually click ok when i say manually i mean using the radio so hopefully yes they are in there i can see them here so yeah that seems to be working to add what to add a just so you know uh, a memory manually if i can get this to get big just go menu here and go down to, and I've made a video, program channel. And just go down through, add all your parameters. And then when you're at the bottom of that list, you know, your CTCSS shift. Number, where is it? Yeah. 16, go menu and then save to memory just by pressing menu is the OK. And that's it really. And then to add the name when you're in memory mode. So we're in memory mode now on the A band. You've got a dedicated A, B band there. So on the A band and you go menu, if you go back to that same list, the first list is added name. And it names the channel that is, yeah, that you're looking at at that time. So otherwise this software looks really simple. Let's add one just here, I think. So in the channel number four, we're going to go 434. Actually, let's do a 70 centimeter one. So we're going to go 430. Is it letting me type this? Type this. Just check. Yeah, it's not letting me type. So let's just see if I can save my file. The file save. Yeah, it's saving a data file. It's going to go. Mini. That's interesting. I'm not getting the ability to type. I mean, I'm not giving up on this. Right, I plug my keyboard in, in and out, and it seems to be letting me now. So let's try again. Mini. And then save. Yes. Click OK. Now let's try and do that again so number four delete that's better so we've got four three zero dot nine two five yeah working fine and then transmit four three four dot five eight five seventy sems so i think that's five four five
TXC TCSS is 77. It's working like all other software. High low power mid, you put the name in here, GB3FI. And you can do caps if you want. So that's how you add a channel. Let's have a look at what else we've got up here. Window VFO modes. So this is what you want it to be in when you when you press VFO. I'll leave it there, but look, you can actually set the CT, CSS and the shift and everything. I like that. Uh, optional features. Um, mm, 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 mm. Squelch, time out how long you speak. And you can turn that off, I believe. Yeah, speak forever then. Languages, English and Chinese. Display name, whether you want the channel number, the frequency. Yeah, so just not seeing anything different. Tone, beep, roger, FM radio allow. That's the broadcast stuff, which it does do. It does do airband. Someone told me if you want the airband to sound better. See, we've got airband here. Look. Bandwidth. But mine's always on wide anyway. It sounds better on wide, but I've got it on wide. So that's that. That's made no difference, that bit of advice. Sorry. Um... What we got up here? Serial port tools. Import a picture, yeah. Um, let's see if we can find one. Open a picture. Let's try R2D2. No, it's got to be 128128, which is annoying. So, well, I'm not going to give up. 128 by 128. So, we're going to go... Before we put it in. Let's go to it. I use paint, so go to a photograph that you want to change. I've always got R2D2 in this little folder here. Uh, right, then you can right click it, like so, and you go open with paint, because most computers have got the program paint on them, so open with paint, like so. Which is done. And you can go to file and you can actually change its size. Image properties file. Go down image. So it's what at the moment it's 160, which is very common. 128 by 128. And you click OK. So it's changed its size. Then you go file, uh, save. Now you get you can go file save as you can actually choose bitmap jpg but it's usually bitmap isn't it i'm gonna put it in my downloads it probably says there but anyway, i'm gonna put it in my downloads save uh downloads i'm gonna go yes save right let's, let's do that again so Import picture, COM3, and it does say bitmap, yeah, hopefully, there it is, no, it doesn't like it, 128, well, I tried, but anyway, you can see the process, and once you've got it, what's this import terminal, uh, it's a shame that we haven't got something that just goes straight in. Let me have a little play, but that's the process. And uh, 128 by 128, but it does say PX bitmap. What's the difference? Uh, but anyway, moving on, because I don't want to be all day on that. COM3 frequency range. Aha, look at this. Because I couldn't get it to do 220, but this is saying, up here it's saying 220 to 260. So it's not allowing me to change that. Let's put one in the memory. Um, 220. Zero. Well, it's gone in. I don't know the, the frequencies in America for 220. 
Well, that's gone in. I'll call it 220. See if it does go in. Then we're going to go right at the top here, and that's right going in. So men memory number, you think now, six is 220. That goes in, it reboots. Unplug. I'm going to go. Okay, it just actually says 220, doesn't it? Um, yeah, it's not PTT in. If you go VFO, look. Yeah, not at the moment. I still think it's possible um, with a procedure. Well, I think that's enough for now on this one. But I've noticed to get it into firmware mode, you just turn it off, press the bottom two buttons, turn on, and it does say update. And of course, you, I, I haven't said, but you can program this using the Bluetooth app that's next on the hit list. And that's iPhone and Android phone. Bye for now.